I've been playing Fae Farm for more than 30 hours and it's been a blast. I love this game so so much, however there are some things that could make the game even better, so here are my 10 favorites and 10 wishes for Fae Farm. Grab your favorite drink and let's get cozy. Number 1 on the list is the visuals and the controls. The art style in this game is just so beautiful. From the environments to the characters themselves, every single creature or the core item, this game is stunning. And the best part about it is that you can explore the world in a fluid way with the incredible movement mechanics and controls. Just jumping around or swimming is so much fun and this gets exponentially better when you get your pair of wings. I finally got my purple wings and I love them so much. On the other hand, even though I love how the characters look in the game, I wish that the character relationships were more thought through. The dialogue is repetitive between the NPCs and the friendship quests are not as fun, at least for me. I actually don't mind having some basic NPCs like the merchants, but I wish they would have picked a few characters to flash out especially when it comes to romance. You can only choose between six characters to romance and the same issue applies here. The dialogue and quests are very repetitive and not very exciting, however, the cutscenes for the dates are cute and you do get to know the backstory of the romanceable characters a bit more, so there's that. Moving on to number two is flower breeding. I am obsessed with it could spend every single day just doing that and I would be forever happy. I think it was so smart to give people a reason to use flower breeding by locking the different cosmetic wings behind this mechanic and not only as a crafting material or to complete the almanac. There are some amazing tutorials for flower breeding out there, I'll link my favorites below and I want to give a shout out to Jake Miss Gaming and Chloe Plays for their amazing flower breeding videos I would have not been able to get my purple wings without them. Something I wish was better is the system to move flowers around. I wish you could just move the flower beds around instead of the flowers themselves. It will be just so much better for decorating to have that freedom and the same goes for moving crops. You also can't move flowers between farms, which I get, but you do have to do the entire breeding process again on your other farms if you want a specific flower to decorate with. It made me think of Animal Crossing New Horizons and how you could pick any flower and then plant it anywhere you wanted. Something like that would be a great addition to the game for those who love decorating. Number three is farming. I actually really enjoy the farming mechanics in this game. I think it's very unique and unlike any other farming scenes I've played, I like the introduction of soil beds and having different soil beds for different purposes. It adds another layer and more thought and planning depending on which crops you want to grow. I also really like the idea of the magical fertilizers. It's a magical game after all and it makes sense that the way you acquire different crops is also through some magic. It's been really fun to plant different things and see what will grow when you apply the magical fertilizer. Truth being told, I don't do tons of farming, just a few small patches are enough for me to play around with the fertilizer and get the different crops I need. I do wish that you could do more with all your different crops and that is where cooking recipes fall a bit behind in my opinion. There is a good number of recipes you can craft but all your resources get chopped into the same things. So all root veggies end up as diced roots, your regular veggies as chopped veggies, all your different mushrooms as sliced mushrooms. You get where I'm going. Why have all these different cool crops and ingredients and then make them all into the same thing? There are a few recipes that do use a specific crops, but I think there was definitely opportunity for more variety here. Faith number four is bug touching. I love the mechanic, it's super satisfying, all the 3D models for the critters are super cute which makes you want to catch them all. I really enjoy the critter conservatories as well, it gives me a reason to keep going out in the world to catch even more critters and get those materials that are really needed for a lot of crafting recipes. The one thing I wish is that there were even more. 
Don't get me wrong, between the different realms and the seasons there are plenty of critters to catch, but especially for rare ones, I thought there will be one per season of each type, or for example, in the Fey realm the critters are the same all year round, while in Asoria and in the mountain are different depending on the seasons. It's something really small, and I hope it can be added later into the game, or maybe in one of the DLCs. This one comes as a shock to me, but I really like mining in this game. Usually, I avoid mining in every farming scene, mostly because of the combat, but even if there isn't, I usually find it boring and tedious. But mining in Fae Farm is actually a lot of fun. I love unlocking a bunch of recipes every time you find a new material or fight an enemy. Also, the more you upgrade your tools and level up your skills, you will start to notice that you get more resources from the different materials. And there is nothing more satisfying than going to the mines and getting 9 crystals on one hit. If you don't know already, mining crystals and making polished gems is the best way to make money in this game. Number 5 on my wishlist is the teleporting system. I think unlocking all these teleporting locations is great, super useful, it's fun to collect materials to make the seals, but the actual locations of the portals themselves are just not that convenient. You still have to get to the specific location to teleport, and these are usually located a bit out of the way. If we could use the map to teleport directly, I think it would be much easier, and I know I would visit my other farms more if that was the case. I didn't think I would enjoy collecting and completing the almanac as much as I do, and if you're someone that really enjoys completing collections, I think you would definitely get a lot of hours out of this game. I've played for about 30 plus hours and I still have lots left to do to complete my almanac. Number 6 on my wishlist is more activities during festivals in Fae Farm. If you really look forward to festivals in farming seams, you might be a bit disappointed here. Every festival has the same formula, a two-part quest to trigger the festival, the town gets decorated according to the theme, and then the town hall becomes a seasonal shop with some decorations and cosmetic items. I've personally had fun trying to collect materials to buy all the items in the shop since they are only available for one day, but I'm sure after year two you will be able to get all the items and then there will be nothing to do in these festivals. I wish they at least added one activity per festival that added replayable value to the game. Number 7 on my faith list is crafting. As you progress in the game and are able to gather a lot of materials faster, you can start crafting a lot more. I do love the game loop of collecting resources, going to your crafting stations and getting your final product in order to progress in the game. I think my favorites are the garden bench, the potion station, the artisan table, and the gem polisher, for obvious reasons. Number 7 on my wishlist is an auto collector for animal products. I love the animals in Fae Farm, they are super cute, I just got started with the breeding mechanics and I'm having so much fun with it, but taking care of them and collecting resources daily can be very time consuming and tedious. I did find out recently that you can upgrade the feeding stations which is super helpful and I wish they could add an auto collector type system to make collecting animal resources a bit easier. I forget to collect mine almost every day. Number 8 on my favorites is decorating. Sometimes I just spend the entire in-game day decorating my farm and I love it. The items you can craft are really cute but what I enjoy the most is the pathing. You can really do lots of creative things with pathing in this game and it is super easy to try things out and remove them if you don't like it and you get all your materials back. So far I'm having so much fun with it, even though I've only started decorating my farm and my main house, I can't wait to start decorating in the Fey realm. One thing I wish is that you could stack items on top of each other. I really hope they fix this because there are lots of possibilities to do really cute things, but not being able to stack items does limit placement options. The other thing I wish is that they fix the placement of wall decorations. You can only place items at the top of the big sections for wall decor, and small things just don't look good up there. 
I hope they can add three levels to these so we can choose at what height the items can go. Fave number nine has to be the main story quest and unlocking the different realms. I've had so much fun getting through the main story and unlocking all these chapters as if you were in a book. I really enjoyed the story moments with the beautiful illustrations throughout the entire main story and unlocking the different realms was something I got really excited about every time. Discovering all the new things to collect, more crafting recipes, more scatter scrolls, more forageables and critters feels like starting the game from the very beginning and I found myself saying just one more day every time. The one thing I wish is that there was more to do in these realms after unlocking them. And I'm not talking about more farms, we don't need more farms. I'm talking about quests and exploration. I don't think adding more farms necessarily adds more value to the game, but I think this is a great opportunity for the DLCs. If you bought the game on the Switch or you got the deluxe version on Steam, two DLC packages will be released at some point one this year and one in 2024. They can go in many different ways here, but I think either adding other realms and keeping them small or making the existing ones bigger could be a great and fun addition as DLCs. On number 10 is the amount of content in this game. Depending on how fast you play, I would say that it can take between 25 to 30 hours to finish the main story which more or less aligns with the first in-game gear. After completing this story, there is so much more you can do. You still have all the job quests for all the different NPCs. You can focus on flower breeding, tree propagation, breeding animals, completing the almanac with all the critters and fish, work on shipments, decorate, you name it. Since the game has a steep price, I would make sure you think about whether you will enjoy all the additional content aside from just playing the main story to make it worth your while. Number 10 on my wish list is cross saving. I love that this game is cross platform and you can play with your friends whether they are on the Nintendo Switch or PC, but at the moment you cannot cross save in the different platforms, which is such a bummer. I would love to be able to play on my Switch since that's what I take with me on travels instead of having to create separate save files in each device. And that is all for today, I've had so much fun playing Fae Farm and if you want to see some more Fae Farm gameplay you can check out my first impressions video to see the first few hours of gameplay in less than 15 minutes. If you've been playing for a while, let me know what are your faves and wishes for Fae Farm and as always, thank you so so much for watching, I hope you have the coziest day, and I see you next time.